This video lesson on persuasion is about ethos, pathos, and logos. Persuasion is the act of causing people to do or believe something. So, if you are trying to change someone's mind, trying to change their beliefs, um, if you are trying to change how people um, see the world or understand the world, um, and if you are trying to get people to do something, then you are persuading them. Um, you are engaging in persuasion. There are three basic methods of persuasion. Ethos, pathos, and logos. And when we discuss this theory of persuasion, we use the Greek terms ethos, pathos, logos, because this particular theory of persuasion comes from ancient Greece and the philosopher Aristotle. So our first method is ethos. So if you say something like this, I am a respectable, knowledgeable, and trustworthy person, then you are using ethos to try to persuade people. Ethos is the Greek word for ethics. Ethics meaning what is right, what is wrong, who is good, and who is bad. Um, so you establish ethos by emphasizing your expertise in a subject, your professional experience, your education, um, your celebrity, maybe if you're a famous person, uh, or your respectability. So if we look at this milk ad right here, this milk ad um, features Dr. Phil. And so they're using the ethos of Dr. Phil to sell milk. Because first, Dr. Phil is famous. Um, he is on TV a lot, and so most people know Dr. Phil. They may think this famous person drinks milk, so I should drink it too. But also, very importantly, he is Dr. Phil. So he has doctor in front of his name, which means he probably is either a medical doctor or maybe he has a PhD. Um, but either way, Dr. Phil gives you the idea that he is a well-educated person um, and that he has a lot of knowledge about things like health, probably. So you may think, oh, this doctor is telling me I should drink milk. I should listen to him. I should drink milk. Um, so that's how this ad tries to use the ethos of Dr. Phil to persuade you to drink milk. The second method of persuasion is pathos. And pathos is an appeal to emotions. Pathos has the same root as words like sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is when you feel emotions for another person and their situation. And empathy is when you, um, you understand or even experience the emotions that another person is feeling. So pathos is all about emotions. And you establish pathos in your arguments by making people feel happy, sad, angry, excited, or any other emotion about the issue that you're trying to persuade them. Um, so this milk ad right here uses pathos to try to persuade you to drink milk. Um, you can see in this ad the pop star Beyonce, and the other woman is Beyonce's mother. And so when we look at this ad, um, you get a sense, uh, a feeling of like love between Beyonce and her mother. Um, you know, they're together, um, they seem close. Um, and so you may kind of have your own kind of feelings of family love um, when you look at this uh, picture of Beyonce and her mother. Um, but also it may make you feel positive emotions toward Beyonce. Like, look at Beyonce, you know, even though she's a famous pop star, she hangs out with her mother. And when they hang out, they drink milk. Um, so maybe if I drink milk, you know, I'll feel good like Beyonce and her mother do. Um, and it'll be a way for me to connect with my family. Um, or just, you know, Beyonce seems to be, uh, gives me a good feeling in this image, so I, maybe I want to drink milk like she does. Um, so this ad uses pathos to try to convince you to drink milk. The third method of persuasion is logos, which is an appeal to reason. Logos is the Greek word for logic. So if you are using logic to try to persuade people, then that's logos. Um, you establish logos by using facts, statistics, research, and other things like that to support your arguments. This is very similar to what your writing teachers often teach you to do um, in your university classes. And so this particular ad uses logos to try to convince you. And I will zoom in on the text so we can see how. So we see here in the text, recent studies suggest that including 24 ounces of low-fat or fat-free milk a day in a reduced-calorie diet 
may help you burn more fat and lose more weight than cutting calories alone. So here they've got some sort of research that they're relying upon. Um, and you can see, you know, they're including numbers, 24 ounces. Um, so they're using this, uh, they're trying to show you that somebody has conducted research um, and they're using that uh, to support this logical idea that if you drink milk, you will lose weight. So this ad uses logos to try to convince you to drink milk. So, so far we've talked about ethos, pathos, and logos like separately. Um, and I've given, you know, I've said in this ad they use ethos, in this ad they use pathos, in this ad they use logos. Um, but the fact is they really, they work together. And the strongest arguments will include all three. So here's another example of a milk ad. Um, and in this milk ad, all three, ethos, pathos, and logos really work together to try to persuade you to drink milk. Um, so first they use ethos. Um, so the woman in this ad, you may recognize her, she's Rihanna. Um, and so again, Rihanna is a celebrity. Um, and so you may, you know, you may think like, well, Rihanna is a celebrity and she drinks milk. So if milk is good enough for Rihanna, then it's definitely good enough for me. Um, they also use pathos in this ad. So the way this ad is designed, it's kind of focused on, you know, Rihanna is generally considered to be beautiful. Um, so they're focused kind of on her beauty. Um, but they, you know, they also focus on like the desire of you as you look at this ad. Um, as you look at this ad, you know, um, if, you, if you are a female, perhaps, if you identify as female, you may look at this ad and you may have a desire to be beautiful like Rihanna. Um, if you're a male, if you identify as male um, and you're heterosexual, you may have a desire to be with a beautiful woman like Rihanna. Um, and so either way, they're using that emotion, that desire, to kind of pull you in um, and, and, and try to persuade you with this ad. Uh, and the last way they use pathos is um, Rihanna's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, the whole way they've, you know, that she's sitting in this ad, there's this kind of, you know, it's making milk feel like it's this cool thing. Like, if I drink milk, I can be cool too, um, like Rihanna. And so um, a lot of people kind of have a desire to feel that way, um, to feel cool. Um, and so, you know, so that's how they're using your, our emotions to try to persuade us to drink milk with this ad. And finally, um, they use logos in this ad as well. Um, so if you look at the text up there, it actually says, uh, some studies suggest that teens who choose milk instead of sugary drinks tend to be leaner and the protein helps build muscle. So again, they're, they're saying that they have some studies, they have some research to support their argument that you should drink milk. Um, they have a logical argument that says if you drink milk, um, you will be uh, healthier, you will be leaner, you'll have more protein and muscles. Um, and we can kind of see how these three things work together. So first we have Rihanna, who we recognize right away as a celebrity, um, and that pulls in her ethos immediately. And then they use the pathos of us wanting to be like, you know, either wanting to be beautiful um, like Rihanna or, you know, wanting to be with a beautiful woman like Rihanna. Um, and then they bring in the logic and they say, if you want to be beautiful like Rihanna um, or, you know, then you should uh, drink milk because we have some research that shows that it will actually make you more beautiful. Um, so this ad really effectively brings those three things together to try to convince people to drink milk. And if you go back and look closely at the other three ads, you'll notice that um, even though I focused on one method of persuasion in each of the other milk ads, all of these milk ads, all of these got milk ads, um, are, do a really good job of incorporating all three of those methods of persuasion to try to get people to drink milk. So this lesson has been on the three methods of persuasion, ethos, pathos, and logos.